they get on stage uh, to speak in my ancestral language uh, from the Squamish Nation to welcome you to our uh, mutual territories and to welcome to you what we call That is the name of this place. I don't know it as Burnaby Mountain. I do know it as SFU. But this place is embedded with our mutual shared ancient history. And it is one of many places that forms a large network in between our communities that me as an archaeologist and a faculty member here at SFU research, does research on. And so I teach here at SFU in First Nation Studies in the Archaeology Department. But I am also uh, from the Squamish Nation and I live here and work here at SFU. I can walk home and it will only take me 5-10 minutes. And so I have a lot of invested interest and concern about what is happening here. And I think it's really important to gather, to rally, to inform and educate and share knowledge. That is the first step in any sort of movement that we're doing here. The basis of knowledge that we can all bring together, I think, will really strengthen our cause. How we do that in and amongst ourselves is starting here today and in other places. So I'm really encouraged to see people gathering. The numbers come and go. But it's good for me as an educator, not only in my culture, but here at SFU. I think this is really important. And I've actually told my students in my classes this semester to please show up here and inform other students to create awareness in our academic community here at SFU. So I'm glad to see some of them here. But as an archaeologist, uh, you know, there are so many areas in and around the Inlet here. There are thousands of years of history contained in the archaeological sites in this part of our mutual territories. And these go back thousands of years. And there are dozens of dozens of these right down here in, in and around this map. Some of them have been investigated, some of them will likely be in this map because of these proposed developments. So those sites are and this mountain and this landscape, this is our this is our history. It is in the earth, it is written in the earth. And if it's impacted, destroyed in any sort of way, we continue to lose those parts of our history. And for me as an indigenous archaeologist, those are important places because they can revive and revitalize our cultures because they contain stories and histories within them. And if they're wiped away, can we lose more and more? And I think we've lost enough already and I don't want to see any more loss from this point forward. Thank you.